first chapter of second term syllabus and from our textbook it is the 11th chapter cell structure and microorganisms children uh, children last year we have studied the different characteristics of living things like growth movement cellular structure definite life span reproduction respiration excretion all these things and among them cellular structure is also very very important characteristic because we have studied that cell is the structural functional and fundamental unit of our body for that let me explain you the uh, formation of a book there are some levels of organization by formish uh, book is formed which is the basic unit of our book it is an alphabet from a single alphabet is there and from the group of alphabets a uh, word is formed from group of words sentence is formed and from a uh, group of sentences paragraph is formed by using these paragraphs chapters are formed and by a uh, composition of all these chapters there is formation of a book in this way book is formed from the alphabet like that our body has also some organizational levels and which is the structural and functional unit just now i have told you cell is our structural functional and fundamental unit in marathi it is called peshi and group of cells see whatever it may be we we know that living things are classified into two groups which are these two plants and animals they are living things now this is plant cell and this is animal cell cell is the structural and functional unit see this is plant cell and this is animal cell then group of cells they form a tissue in marathi tissue is called uti group of cells then group of tissues they come together to form an organ which are the organs in our body there are so many organs like stomach brain heart lungs all these are our organs and they are formed from the tissues and tissues are formed from the cells now which is the next level organ system group of organs they come together and they perform a common bodily function and those group of uh, those organs they uh, constitute one organ system so what is an organ system an organ system is a group of organs working together to carry out common bodily functions that means if see this is the model of digestive system and in this digestive system there is mouth esophagus then uh, stomach small intestine large intestine anus all these then uh, liver pancreas uh, salivary glands are also there all these organs they perform the function of digestion and that's why they uh, they are included in which system digestive system because all they are working for the process of digestion that means common bodily function is there and that function is the function of digestion okay and all this uh, there are many systems like digestive system respiratory system nervous system reproductive system excretory system circulatory system in uh, skeletal system muscular system all these systems they come together and they form our body whatever it may be it may be a plant or it may be an animal they are uh, formed by cells there is 
different organization of these uh, bodies of all these things but uh, in the bodies of animals the structural uh, organization is like this cell group of cells tissue group of tissues organ and group of organs organ system and group of organ systems they form body okay you must have understood all these things and we know group of bodies they form a crowd a community and group of communities they form a village or city a group of cities in this way a state country and world universe all these are based on the cell in this way cell is very very important in our body thank you